I can knock this out in one shot. So what's going on to all my tourists out there? Please make sure to get my book at Amazon. The link to that is in the description box below as usual. Um, comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to, my, to the YouTube channel, share the video. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, if you would like to, uh, if this reading resonated with you and you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, you can do so. Um, my website is in the description box below. Hold on one second. I want to get lights around me because this ring light here tends to go out because it tends to get overheated for some odd reason. But um, uh, I still have these backup lights. But um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so sorry about that, right? Um, got a, you know, had a long, kind of a long day. But um, if this reading resonated with you, then please make sure to contact me for personal reading. Um, you can catch me at uh, CrimSpiritWorks at Yahoo.com, right? Where you can communicate with me there or feel free to uh, contact me at my website. The link to that is in the description box below. So the cards that I come up with for the Taurus is the Two of, of uh, Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Two of Cups, the um, Page of uh, Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and last but not least, we have the Queen of Swords. So um, what I'm seeing here for a lot of you, uh, Taurus, is I'm just seeing how a lot of you Taurus happen to be in a situation right now where a lot of you Taurians, um, Y'all, y'all essentially, how do I say this? Y'all essentially want to be in a position where you're, you're creative, right? You want to be in a creative disposition, but you don't necessarily know how. And the reason why I'm saying that in the first place is the two of pentacles. You want to find, you, you, you want to, not only do you want to be in a creative situation, but you want to find someone that you can get creative with, build with that person right? You and them. But the Nine of Wands represents all of these mental trips that you obviously tend to go on, all these different hangups. And the Ace of Swords is basically a call to action. It's a desire for you to be in a creative space between yourself and a, and a significant other, right? Or a person that you are getting to know, obviously. But I, I, I would honestly say that the best thing for you to do in that situation is to stop overthinking things, right? Go with the matter of the heart. Um, when it comes to getting people to to like you, if they, if, if they play games, then that's what type of time they're on. If they're playing games, um, you know, uh, one of the things on how it is that you know uh, if someone's playing games, uh, is, is if you give them a little bit too much knowledge, right? I can't see that. And that's the reason why it is. I encourage people to contact me for personal reading. Um, because there's only really so much that I can honestly say on YouTube, right? Um, that's the reason why these videos have to be where they are. Cause, cause there's really only so much that I can really uh, tell you on YouTube in order for me to give you a better perspective on what to look out for, you'd have to contact me and pay for a personal reading. So that as we're doing that, we can chop it up. I can put you on to certain things, all that stuff, right? Help help you, you know what I mean, get your game together. So, um, but the Ace of Swords represents just that, as I was saying. So stop overthinking things, go with the matter of the heart. The Two of Cups and the Ace of, uh, the Two of Cups and the Page of Wands, the Two of Cups represents how, um, yes, matter of the heart, but also um, the Page of Wands represents just, just eliminate all of the mental trips that you go on. The Nine of Wands represents the mental trips. And what I mean is all of the hangups that you have, right? As long as something doesn't compromise your own personal boundaries, don't sweat the small stuff. So the Five of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles represents how this is a situation for you where the Five and the Three of Pentacles are about how you need to 
you need to really be in a situation where, um, you know, you and the person is really contributing something, right? Obviously, two people don't necessarily have to contribute the exact same amount, but you, but you want to make sure that, you know, especially financially, right? Two people do not necessarily have to financially contribute the exact same amount. That's something a lot of times uh, people really end up getting caught up in a trick bag in and end up really getting caught up, right? Right, Taurus? Because everyone is, you know, a lot of people are trying to grow. I ain't going to say everyone, but a lot of people who have a good head on their shoulders are trying to grow and, 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 and advance, excuse me, and expand in their own way. And it's going to take time and it's going to take patience, right? So obviously, if you if you approach the situation from a perspective of, oh my gosh, you know, what can this person offer me? Why is it that this person is not my equal or whatnot? It, it, it should really about it if this person is growing at their own speed at their own pace, if they're growing, right? Over a gradual amount of time is really ultimately what you want. If, if you're looking for it financially, that type of stuff as far as looks, then it's really a trophy situation. And if, and if that's the case, then they don't really want you or you don't necessarily really want them in the long term because it's just for, sh for show business, right? It's just for looks. So the nine of pentacles, represents so how you get to the nine of pentacles in the first place is the both of you have to contribute okay um the both of you have to contribute uh to the relationship and it has to be honest it has to be genuine right um you know me you know i don't i don't necessarily date too too much you know i think the last person who i got to know was probably a year ago i'm talking about where i actually got their number talked to them was a year ago yeah a year ago and um you know i don't necessarily really go after people like that immediately 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 even though i have been meeting a lot of people uh this summer thanks to my dog and and walking my dog and stuff like this you know, getting, you know, getting a lot of people, you know, that, that, you know, thinks that my dog is cute and stuff like this, but to say, really get my number, you know what I mean? Um, I'm holding myself with respect. Now, why that's important for you, Taurus, is that a lot of you Taurus have to learn that when, again, I'm practicing what it is that I'm preaching, right? Let me pull this out. I'm practicing because it was getting hot anyway, but I'm practicing what it is that I'm preaching, right? Whatever it is that I, you know, end up getting it out of a, a, a situation where I'm trying to get to know the person romantically on that level, I usually take I usually take a break, you know, and and, you know, because I'm already kind of a, you know, I, I, I already kind kind of can be a cerebral kind of guy in the first place. So how you need to interact with that is the same thing, too. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Just really go into the situation and really and have yourself and the person contribute to certain things. The Ace of Cups and the Seven of Swords represents this being a situation for you where, you know, this is about how this is about how it is that you um, you you. Uh, you really want to. The Ace of Cups and the, and the Queen of Swords. See, the Queen of Swords is really kind of like an off, kind of like a, how do I say this? Like in connection with the Strength card, right? And and we'll we'll get to that. But the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Swords is about when. Remember, when it comes time now for looking for love, when it comes to getting yourselves into a relationship, everything begins with the conversation, right? Everything starts off with you getting to know the person. So if you're not really interested in getting to know the person, you need to say that up front, okay? Don't string anybody along. Not saying that you would, but I'm saying to really cut back on your own time. Don't really spend too much of your time stringing somebody along. Because really, because the reality of it is, and like I said before, I can really only say just, you know, I really can't say too much here. You really have to get uh, a more raw, uncut version, right? 
by contacting me. But when people waste your time, right, stringing you along, they're, they really want to be in relationships. But they, you know, they caught up in the streets. So the thing is that the Queen of Swords represent. So try not your endeavor best to cut people off without necessarily getting to know them, right? Get to know them. Then if you start to hear some 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 character flaws, see what a red flag is, right? A red flag, which is what it is that you should be looking out for, which is a deal breaker. A character flaw is a red flag. That's what a red flag is. It's a character flaw. So, so the thing is that if it's a situation like you happen to, you know, it, you know, if it's a situation like, you know, you're getting to know the person and like the person is, I don't know, the person is like, you know, um, I don't even know what to say. I don't even necessarily know what kind of example. Uh, you know, uh, a red flag would be, uh, and for instance, a red flag would be something like, you know, if, you know, they don't know how to pick, they, you know, they don't know how to give people a, a chance and they just cut a lot of people off without really giving them a fair shake. That's a huge red flag. You know what I mean? So, all right. Anyway, so let's get into this, right? So let's clarify the queen of uh, swords. So the, uh, the lovers, ten of pentacles, and the high priest. Why? Why do people keep getting this card, yo? <laughs> uh, so basically, these these three cards here have been the main three card combinations. But basically, this means how a lot of you Taurus need to ultimately watch out for people who will use, who will even go as far as using love. That's that's a, a red flag. People will tell you that they love you, and you know they're using that as a means of doing things to you that's not very respectful you know what i mean that's why love is such love that's why the reason why it is that love is love in the tarot is such a, a a trick card because and this is why it is that i tell you telling you that people are actually using reading some of the some of those cards incorrectly because the lover's card is a card that will be used to where people will tell you that they love you and they do something to you that's very disrespectful if you don't believe me, just think about it. How many people have you known in your life that has said something disrespectful to you, but just before they did something disrespectful to you, actually told you that they love you? So, or they or they tried to get you to feel that love, you know. But the Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess represents this being a situation for you where the Ten of... Is it raining? Oh, I thought it was raining outside. I was never about to say in this heat. But um, you know what I mean? Because usually when it rains, it cools down just a little bit. But anyway, the point is um, the Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess represents. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is the substance. And the High Priestess represents if you're looking for substance, it's not going to be with the person that is going to tell you that they love you in order to, to get into, you know, to get into your room, you know. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups. All right, let's clarify that. So you have the Hermit, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. So, so to clarify the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups is is the Ace of Cups is is that what you look like, right? Or what you? How do I say you're trying to approach love, right? So the Hermit, the Eight of Pentacles, and the, and the Hierophant represents, be careful, right, with, with thinking, with, with, how do I say this? Be careful acting like a Virgo. You know what I mean? Be careful acting like a Virgo in the sense of uh, pessimistic, you know, because earth signs can sometimes do that, be pessimistic, down in the dumps. Um, you know, thinking that people aren't really rocking with y'all. When at the end of the day, you know, more than likely people really do like you. Um, also too, 
what it's also saying is follow, follow, follow yourself, you know, wink, wink, hint, hint, follow yourself, follow the gut in the pit of your stomach. If you, if regardless of who, whatever Taurus you are, if you know someone is disrespecting you, stop hanging out with these people. See, earth signs have the most gut connection, meaning that they're, they're the ones that strong, that strongest Lee, I guess if that's a word, know how to use the guts as a means of knowing when someone is fooling them. And then the things that the Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant represents just as it is I was saying. Focus on yourself in a constructive way without having to tear other people down, okay? And the Hierophant represents, like I said, use your guts. Use that, that higher, use that higher intelligence. Use that wisdom. Use that that level of understanding that you know of that you that no one has to teach you about. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Peace.